Okay, Bobby, new manager of Fielding. It's been a bit of a whirlwind 24 hours. Yep. What can you tell us? <sighs> um, I was asked yesterday to take over as manager, come as a bit of shock to myself and all the players, because obviously I'm close friends with Gary Stewart and Phil off the pitch away from football as well. So uh, when I was asked, obviously I didn't know what the situation was. Um, but I have took it because I think on a personal level I owe it to them and I won't want to see the club just fall away and turn into some of the other clubs, no disrespect in the Northern League, that are just fall away um, and I don't want that. Um, I think uh, we all know just from conversation with yourself in the past that uh, you've had ambition uh, maybe after you finished playing to to go into management, it's, it's come maybe a little bit quicker than you expected. Yeah, well, Wednesday I was running about in the middle of the pitch and then now I'm responsible for the team. Um, well, it's Gary's team, really. So I'm just, you know, trying to motivate them as best I can. Put a team out that now I think is going to win the game. Um, but the lads were unreal today. I can't, I'm, I'm very proud. It's a pretty whirlwind start to your uh, management career, a goal after 20 seconds. Yeah, I can understand why Gary pulled his hair out as well. Um, first off, defensively we were all over the place. Could have drove a bus through the back four. But I had a, a few words at half-time. Um, didn't expect to be doing that in my first game. But the lads stuck at it. They played well first half, just errors defensively, uh, they stuck at it, which I asked them to do, and they did, and we were com ran out comfortable winners the second half. Um, were you tempted, given the kind of merit, those goals that we lost, were you, were you tempted at all to maybe come back onto the pitch yourself? No, no, that I weren't thinking about that at all, to be honest. I've got, got trust in all the lads, we're a group, great bunch of lads, friends, um, and in the changing room, they could be wanted to get out straight back out and put it right. So, yeah. So, in terms of your own ambition uh, going forward, uh, obviously it's all happened very quickly. You wouldn't have had time probably to think too much no. about backroom or anything like no, that. But no. We saw Chris Hughes was there with you today. Is that, uh, is, are you tempted to uh, chat with Chris a longer term? Uh, Chris has got other commitments, so I'm just taking it game by game at the moment. Um, I'll see where it takes me. Um, Paul Connor's also volunteered to help me out for the time being. So it'll be on a game-by-game -game basis, but I'm taking it seriously. Gary's left us in a great position to be challenging on League, League Cup, County Cup. So I said to the lads beforehand, it would be an absolute crying shame if we just, you know, let it go. Yeah. So the guys have got ambition to still get a uh, win about silverware this season. It's obviously a bit of a transition, but um, yeah. they're still like, gunning for silverware. Yeah, we, that's the aim. I, if I didn't think I could get them to win, or some of the lads in there that didn't want to win, they'd either leave or I won't be doing the, do the job. Um, but I think we've got potentially two or three good shouts to win win trophies, which is the main aim from the start of the season. And uh, as I say, they seem to answer all the questions asked of them in that second half. Yeah. Um, great camaraderie that's been throughout this year and it's shown. You can see celebrating the goals. Every man and every man was celebrating a goal and it's it's great to see. So in terms of yourself, you, I mean, you're obviously still a racial player. Yeah. Do you think that you'll be taking a step onto the sidelines now or are we likely to see you on the pitch as well? I haven't even thought about that to be honest, but I think there will be times where I'm going to play because um, I still think I've got something to offer the team and whether that's worth managerial or playing. So I do think I'll be playing at some stage, um, but I don't think today was right to play and we've got a great squad so it's not just about me really it's about I know we've got 15 good players that can step into and play anywhere so so finally I mean obviously you know uh, things have happened suddenly at the moment but um, 
is your own ambition in terms of the long term? Will it be to, to stay at Shildon and to remain as manager for that period of time? Well, yeah, like I say, I'm just going to take it game by game. I'll have to speak with the chairman and the board. I don't know um, what the score is with that. So I'm going to take the team through till the end of the season, um, especially after today's performance. Take it game by game and I'll speak to who needs to be spoken to over that period. And I just hope you know everyone backs us because the fans were brilliant today. Um, got behind the lads even when we were losing and it helped you could and you know a bit of repayment for everyone believing in us thanks very much that was and, um, best of luck for the rest of the season thank you very much cheers